big series between the Red Sox and the Houston Astros underway tonight. Sox getting their first look this season at the league best Astros and proving they can play with the big boys. Let's pick things up in the bottom of the six. Sox up one nothing, two on two out. Carlos Carrera delivers one to right, but Mookie bets. Don't count him out of the MVP race. Guns down George Springer at the plate. Next inning, Sox still holding a thin lead until this happened. Brian McCann taking him deep. Drew Pomeranz deep to right for a solo shot to tie the game. But what did I say about Mookie? Never count him out. Gives the Sox a 2-1 lead late in the game, and that's the way it would remain. Sox win the first in the series 2-1. Rick Porcello takes the mound tomorrow night at 8. Yankees and also in action tonight, trying to hold on to a one and a half game lead over the Sox, but riding a four game losing streak heading into tonight's test against Jesse Hahn and the Athletics, and they failed this one. I can thank Ryan Healy for it. Watch this. Ryan Healy takes Masahiro Tanaka deep to center for a solo shot. Let's show it again. Why not? Actually, this isn't a replay, folks. Healy again with the solo shot to center again. Yankees fall 5-2 for their fifth straight loss and remain only half a game above the surging Red Sox. They look to avoid the sweep Sunday. Now to an update on Woodstock native Keegan Bradley at the U.S. Open. We've been following the 2011 PGA champ who is having a rough day of it on the green. He posted a three over 75, dropping him to four over for the tournament. The leader, well, that would be Justin Thomas at 11 under. He shot a U.S. Open record nine under par, 63 today to claim the lead. And it's one of the biggest sports events in Vermont. 20th annual Nordic Cup is underway. More than 3,000 soccer players from Vermont, neighboring states, and Canadian provinces are taking part in the tournament in Essex and Stowe. Now, Nordic soccer is one of the premier travel cl soccer clubs in the area, and the teams help youth and high school players develop their game. Now, many of Nordic alumni also go on to play in college. They spend the summer traveling around our region for tournaments, but this event allows Nordic somewhat of a home field advantage. We ask a lot of our kids and our parents to travel to find good competition and for us to have a weekend a year where we're at home on our home soil where we train. Uh, it's just a huge benefit and it's, it's part of the learning process for our kids. And what a tournament format does, it allows teams from Connecticut, New Hampshire, Maine, Rhode Island, uh, and Canada to travel into our area and for us to compete against different level players. Uh, just to get our name out there, it's a really big tournament for Vermont and it brings competition to all of our teams so we're just here to play that's one of my favorite tournaments so I'm always looking forward to it um, I mean I think our team really gets pumped up to play and so it's exciting Nordic Cup continues through tomorrow well you may find a wanted for being a traitor headline in the Boston Globe tomorrow Celtics fans blowing up social media wondering if general manager Danny Ainge has lost his head and fans probably offering a reward if someone finds it. Well, Trader Danny has a deal in place to trade the number one pick in this year's draft. It's a pick Celtics fans have longed for and haven't had since 1950 when they drafted Chuck Scher out of Bowling Green. Now they have a chance to draft this guy, Markel Fultz from Washington, but all indications are the pick is heading to the Philadelphia 76ers. This was Fultz's workout from the 76ers today. Pending a physical after the workout, that trade will be wrapped up and the Celtics will now draft third Thursday night. Well, I'm Alex Hirsch and that's it for your local sports.